What's up guys? This is your daily Twin Flame Energy Reading. My name is Ashley Gillard and I am so happy to deliver this message for you. If you resonate with this reading, awesome. If you don't, awesome. I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment to this channel so that I can see you bring positive content and guidance and advice from spirit. The overall energy of this reading is we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, we have Justice, we have a four happy family card from the oracle thinking woman right under there and the four of spades which is the four of swords and another four under there <laughs> interesting four 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 the number of um angelic guidance the number of manifestations at physical manifestations of God's blessings on earth. The number 444, the number of synergetic results of God and the divine guides and ancestor, ancestors being with you. So basically, it's the number of stability, a solid foundation created from aligning yourself with spirit, aligning yourself with God, and manifesting those the desires and blessings here um, in your lifetime. That couples with the justice card meaning you know you're getting what you deserve you're finally receiving the effort that you're putting out you're finally receiving blessings and not this energy has been in several of my readings lately um of hard work turning and receiving blessings for the hard work that you put into a harvest season then you have queen of wands and two of cups everything coming together for you everything aligning for you stepping into your power you be alluring stepping into your alluring power from the queen of wands the energy i'm getting is attractiveness alluring you're attractive you're alluring and things are being attracted to you positive vibes are being attracted to you because that's what you put out things love is attract coming to you because that's what you put out things are coming together for you because that is the energy that you put out so you're receiving exactly what it is that you pull out and that's if that's positivity then you're receiving positivity this isn't a reading for somebody who's spilling negative negativity because this isn't negative energy you're receiving positive energy because you expressed and you put that out into the universe. I'm going to go over these oracle cards first. We have patience. My ring is showing my ring light. We have patience. We have victory. We have door to value. You've been patient. And I'm going to clarify that with the first one as well. You've been patient. You carried the burden of balance. You've carried the burden of this spiritual warfare, this spiritual journey that you've been on to balance, balance of yourself internally and externally. You've carried the burdens and you've been patiently waiting um, for your results, for your hard work and your labor and your initiative. You tried and that's enough. I, I don't remember where I got that from, but it's like to start on a spiritual journey, to seek God, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And when I say seek ye first the kingdom of God, you sought spirit. You sought spiritual knowledge. You sought spiritual growth. You sought, you sought divinity. You, you sought divine feminine energy. And you matched it with your masculine. And everything would be added to you. It's the initiative. It doesn't say seek ye first and um, accomplish whatever and everything will be added to you. No, it says seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything will be added to you. And now everything is going to be added to you because you put the initiative forward to seek the kingdom of God. So that's when we have victory. And that's when we have door to value. Let's talk about, let's meditate on this victory. What words, the words that come to my mind. And think of words too. You know, I teach in my numerology course, um, Part five about you being a vessel of spirit communication. We all have this in us. So think of the words that come to your mind. You see this victory card. When I see this, I think of success. Well, I think gold mine. I think everything I touch turns to gold. I feel energy of accomplishments. I feel energy of reaping what you sow, but in a sense of putting in the hard work on a project and reaping success because of it, putting the hard work to manifest new levels in your life and reaching it because of it. And I get the number 10 because two plus eight equals 10, which is completion and seeing the journey all the way through. It's like you saw the journey all the way through and you're reaping the results because you saw it through. You saw the tree from seed all the way up until it flourishes. And this is your season to flourish. Then we have door to value. 
financial blessings, abundance, freedom, financial freedom, independence. Um, I'm also getting awakening too. With that three and that one, spirit is with you, bringing you and, and matching your energy. This, what is with this light today? Spirit is matching your energy, bringing you synergetic results as it pertains to money. So this is leaving financial at and entering financial abundance. This is being abundant. This is being, this is increasing overflow financially. For the tarot, first card we have is the Hierophant, clarified, the Hierophant clarified by the Ten of Clubs. The clubs co correlate to the um, wands. So basically this is saying you, you carried the burden of the spiritual journey. You saw it through. You carried, you went through the trials and tribulations. You went through um, the hard work and determination and the patience required to manifest balance in your life. To manifest balance of your feminine and masculine energies. Not only for the partnership, but for you as an individual. You put in the work. Um, you put in the work and you carry that responsibility. Burdens aren't all bad. Burden is just responsibility. You carry the responsibility to find yourself. And you found yourself. Or you're very close to it. I don't know how you resonate with this reading. I, I feel like um, whoever resonates is really close or already there. Like me, I feel like I found myself. And I'm slowly finding myself and becoming one with myself. Quickly, I said slowly. Yeah, slowly before, but now it's like it's coming quickly. Then we have, and notice in this reading we have the Ten of Wands, which is, and then we have the Ten of Cups, you know, in the hearts form. We have judgment and we have judgment. That's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Then when you see the number 10, it's like it's amplified. Um, I was just reading on this website, the Bible World website, it says, you know, um, multiples of 10 modulate between Hebrew and Greek words, amplifying more than altering the Hebrew meaning. So it's amplifying the meaning. So when you see 10 with a higher refine, it's amplified. It's like you did it. It's like on, on another level, you found balance. When you see the 10 of cups clarified, you have the judgment card next. Clarified by the 10 of cups and the five of pentacles. This is amplified. This is financial blessings and fulfillment and satisfaction amplified. Um, this is God's grace amplified. This is receiving judgment. I correlate judgment with receiving. I correlate judgment with your side and receiving from, you know, your side. Your blessing is coming through Mal your side and entering the kingdom of God. I, you know, Malkut, the kingdom of God. I study Kabbalah or Kabbalah, however you say it. So excuse me if you don't understand this, but basically receiving from the kingdom of God amplified. Um, fulfillment amplified. Satisfaction amplified. Judgment receiving amplified. God's grace amplified. With all these tens, it's amplified. It's on a whole nother level. You have 444 on a whole nother level. Judgment and the high refined union on a whole nother level. Life, living life on a whole nother level. And it's near. This is your this is your reading. If you resonate with this, this is for you. This is your life. It, it, it's almost feeling unbelievable. It's like entering a new level of life that you can't even believe. And it's your life. Then we have, uh, right, I just want to speak on this a little bit more. Ten, fulfillment uh, in financial. Ten of cusk, clarif and the, um, sorry, five of diamonds together. You know, when the five of diamonds is like five of uh, pentacles, sometimes they associate that with lack. But this is amplified. This is financial blessings and fulfillment amplified. This isn't lack. This is abundance. The exact opposite of lack. This is abundance. This is blessings. This is success. But financially as well. So whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, what action you're putting in, what you're putting your masculine energy to use for, it's going to be blessed, amplified on a whole nother level. Then we have the seven of cups clarified by the judgment. Amplified times two. When you are blessed, 
your responsibilities. When I sometimes I associate cups with responsibilities. So you, you have these different cups. You have your cup of love amplified, receiving love. You have financial blessings, receiving love. You have enlightenment in here, receiving um, enlightenment on a whole nother level. Again, because it's clarified by the judgment card, so it's amplified times two. Judgment is two tenths. Then we have flourishing blessings at the top, receiving that on a financial level. Um, I want to associate the middle with real estate for some reason. But it's like receiving the light on a whole nother level, entering this journey on a whole other level. You may not even all have all the answers with this moon card, but you're receiving and you're flourishing on a whole nother level. You're enlightened on a whole nother level. You're light on a whole nother level. You, I, I don't know why, but it's like, like a skyscraper, you know, real estate on a whole other level. Maybe you're purchasing a home or you're entering, you're upgrading your home life on a whole other level. Um, then you have snakes. First, let me talk about love. You have love on a whole nother level. That's divine partnership. It's love on a whole nother level anyway. You know, purposeful relationships, purposeful partnerships, purposeful union. You're your divine partner. But when you get this level of blessings, you got to watch out for this level of snakes. So when you enter a blessed life on a whole nother level, watch out for snakes on a whole nother level as well. It comes with the territory. Then you have the Three of Wands and the Princess of Pentacles. Um, this three and this seven um, goes together. The number seven, three is I am he. It's wisdom. It's the number of eyes, discerner. It is part of the creation hologram, the heart of wisdom. The number, when you see the number seven, three, think creation. Think God. Think I am the Almighty God. Think wisdom. These are words associated with the gematria of the number 37. Um, think trust. Think man of God. So, again, this is just clarifying that you are a divine vessel of God on earth. That's what I'm getting from the number 73. A divine vessel of God on earth. And then we have Princess of Pentacles clarified by the King of Swords. You know who you are. You know what you were created for. You know that you know what you're supposed to do and you're working on it. You're working on the things that bring you light because it brings light to others. And you're very clear about what you want and you're, you're making decisions to follow on your passions. Put energy into your work because, again, you know who you are. You know what you were created for. So you're working on it. When you get to a level of the higher fine, multiply by 10 or union Clarify by saying on a whole nother level, um, partnership and union and, and balance on a whole nother level. That's what I'm trying to say. Clarity isn't an issue because you know who you are. You're one with yourself and you know who you are. So you're working on things that align with who you are and your purpose. Then you have the star. Sometimes when we see the star card, it's like... Um, you know, we hear energy, we hear health and vitality, we hear, um, you know, light. But with the star, we also feel blessing. And, in, okay, let's talk about this because I don't, um, I don't know. I don't know if a lot of other channels talk about it. So the star was clarified by 73. So what does that mean to me? The star is a manifestation of God on earth. It is the embodiment of being a fisher of men. When you start this journey of union, when you seek the kingdom of God, if you are like me, it's like you sought divine guidance. You sought divine blessings and you sought to be a vessel of God on earth. And when you're a vessel of God on earth, you have the responsibility of leading a nation. And when I say a nation, it's just, you know, people. I don't want to call them people. Let's not call them sheep. Let's say people who need guidance. When you're a manifestation of God on earth, when you're a star, this is, this is star energy. This is an actual star energy. When you're a star, you're a vessel of God on earth, and you are here to be a blessing to others by using your blessings. This nine of wands, um, nine of clubs and wands, you know, wands and clubs correlate with each other as it pertains to playing cards in the tarot. But this nine of wands is saying, 
it's just the number nine. It's it's just blessings. I'm getting blessings, um, spiritual blessings, using your gifts, your your God given gifts to shine your light on others, to lead people to light, to lead yourself to more life and others. So the number seventy three and nine with the star card, and the the princess of pentacles right there. Be clear about who you are. Work on work on your projects. Work on the things that you were created to bring. And focus on that because that brings recognition. That brings you closer to your fish. I don't want to call them fish either. I keep saying fish. This brings you closer to the people that you were created to lead to light. And you're leading them to light. I love this card. This, this is showing. It's like the light. She's following it, but it doesn't show the people following her. When you follow the light, people follow you. And following the light is using your blessings and your gifts, your God-given gifts, to manifest light on earth and to be a vessel of light to others. Then we have the full card clarified by the Eight of Wands. You give people faith. When you're at this point of your twin flame journey, your un unification journey of your masculine feminine energies, you're beyond unification at this point. The first card that came out was union, amplified on a whole nother level. So you're beyond that point. Excuse me. Whew. You're unified. So here, you give people faith. This is... The number eight also attunes to resurrection, so I am going to mention that because it could help someone. I'm also getting resurrection, meaning, you know, being lifted and, and amplified, being blessed and recognized and on a whole nother level, a divine level, a, a God level. But I'm also getting eight, the number of eight of wands being communication. So what you're doing what you're you know the people you're attached to the people you're communicating with the people you know your story when you communicate your story when you communicate your gifts and when you share yourself and your light with the world you give people hope and faith look at her you make them want to reach for the light you make them feel blessed and happy and light you make them want to follow their dreams and goals you make them want to dance you give them energy you give them happiness that's what, you, that's what, when you are unified and you're one with yourself and you know who you are, you exhume God and God is. You exhume, exhume, hope I'm using that word right, um, light. You are the epitome of God on earth and people love that energy and they follow it. And it cancels out darkness in the hearts of, you know, the people you're communicating with, the people you were created to lead. You cancel out the darkness in their life and make them want to seek the light for themselves as well. And when they seek the light, they have people that follow them that seek the light as well. And it increases light on earth. That's what I'm getting with the tower and the ten combination. This is light amplified. Look at that lightning. And so look at this. Consider this growth. Light. Look at the light. Light growing, canceling out darkness. It's growing. The light amplified, entering a new phase of life, a new phase of times, new generation of a new time is what I'm getting. Us coming together and, and becoming one with the dualities, our divine masculine and feminine energies in ourselves and coming together with our divine partners changes the world literally brings light on a whole nother level look at this it's growth exponentially exponential growth of light in your life but also in the light life of others that you were created to live in the world in general it's almost our season it makes me think of that time where it says um there will be like a period of a thousand years and it's a lot of ones and zeros in this reading. And I don't know why I'm thinking about this right now, but I am. It, it, I believe it says it's like it'll be a period of a thousand years where the devil or something like is locked up. 
So just imagine the amount of light that grows during that time period. Maybe this is the gateway to that. People seeking the light, people seeking, um, you know, people like you and I growing and becoming one with ourselves and seeking the light and showing others how to do it as well. Being a blessing to other people's lives. It increases light and maybe opens the door for a period of time where people on exponential levels are seeking the light. So whoever this is for, prepare for union, prepare for blessings on a whole nother level. Prepare for new levels, prepare for blessings, financial blessings, prepare for victory. Because your patience and your hard work and dedication is paying off. Yep. You sought the kingdom and everything is being added to you because you took the initiative to seek the light. So I'm going to stop it there. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. If you heard before, I have a little hater that's just disliking my video. So I ask that you show love and press the like button for me um, to combat the hate. Again, we are here to enhance the light. So let's share light and love to each other and cancel out the darkness until we ignore it, until it no longer exists. Um, if you would like a private reading, feel free to contact me. The link is in my description. And this reading was brought to you by my book, Dream, DR3AM, The Spiritual Pathway to Success. Um, look me up in my book, The Power of I Am. I recommend The Power of I Am if you are on this twin flame journey because you'll understand the lingo and the language that I speak in that book. Um, and it's about the dualities of yourself and the, and the twin flame partnership as well. So I highly recommend it. The Power of I Am by Ashley Gillard, G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D. I wish you love light and more light. This would got no light. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.